Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. <clears throat> Let me pull y'all up. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to be using a cane board this morning, right? You know it, you know it. <laughs> Funny. All right, so... I have already loaded our cane board. We are going to make or attempt to make a unicorn using the cane board. So we're going to be using white, um, white deco mesh, purple deco mesh, pink deco mesh, um, and I've also made a golden horn our little foam ears and our eyelashes and I will go over all of that when we get to that point okay so for right now I'm putting those to the side um, so say hey when you come in but right now it's Friday TikTok. I don't know if you've ever done the Friday dance with me but every Friday morning, we do a little jig. So everybody stand up, put your coffee down, get off the couch, get out of the bed, get off the chair. You ready? It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. <laughs> All right, I have been busy. Um, so let me bring everybody down and I'll kind of show you the layout that I have. So, I have kind of marked my board. Um, up here, I'm going to put the nose. So, I wrote right on the board, nose. I'm going to put one curl here, two curls here. Two curls here, one curl here. So, I've written that on my board as well. Okay? Um, we're going to do all of that until we get to here. And then we're going to do the rest of it in the pink and purple. Right here, I've marked that that's where I'm thinking the ear is going to go, which means the horn is probably going to go somewhere around here. Um, and then we're going to start the outside mane right here on row eight. So row eight all the way down. Um, and then we're going to continue the mane kind of right here. Okay. Now y'all know I'm winging it, so we're going to figure it out as we go. Um, so first I want a nose because I want just a little bit of a rounded snout, nose, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take this one and then we're going to zip tie right over it to get that curl. Um, but I'm going to take, and this is all my mesh is cut 10 by 10. Okay. So for this. I'm going to take it curl side up and I'm just going to fold it in half. If it's easier for you, you can clip it. Okay, so it's just completely folded in half. And then I'm going to scrunch right up this cut edge, okay? But see how it gives us that kind of rounded snout that I'm looking for? So we're just gonna put that right in, just like that, just to give us a good 
snout, right? <laughs> doing this there we go okay so that's what we have on row one hello hello if everybody could float my boat I'd appreciate it so now I'm gonna put a zip tie right over that and we're gonna start our curls all my curls are 10 inches now this one's not gonna be a kit um, because I have to figure it out, y'all. Um, you know, this is only my second time using the cane board. So, I just, I need to figure it out before I do kits. But kits are coming. There's already things in my head, trust me. Okay. So, I'm going to take the inside of a mesh roller. And we're just lining it up. and rolling it this will ensure that most of gosh darn it i'm snagged that most of our curls are pretty much the same okay so we're just going to pull that out and one curl is going right there so we're just going to pinch right here in the middle And we're going to put it right on top of that zip tie. Okay. Just like that. Now this one's getting two. So I do have most of these already done. So we're going to put two. And then we're going to alternate on the next row, okay? Now this might be too much. It might be too little. We won't know until we get there. Okay, so now we're at two. Hubby wants to go to Harbor Freight. What? Tell him it's not time to go to Harbor Freight. It's too early. <laughs> you have to wait till at least like 11. You can tell him I said so. <laughs> you think that'll work? Okay, so one. This is just regular um, deco mesh. Regular deco mesh. So we're going to go one and then two. So we're going opposite. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good morning, good morning. So you might be able to get away with just do using one curl or maybe a ruffle and a curl. Not sure yet. But I'll figure it out for y'all and y'all can uh, y'all can modify it and fix it however you want to do it. Right? If you have those big clips, you can kind of hold all this back while you're working underneath it. And you let your TikTok viewers know that they can't see their comments and they're asking lots of questions. TikTok, I am so sorry. I cannot see your um, comments. 
Oh, I see that one, actually. This is a Unique in the Creek board. Unique in the Creek cane board. It just came out. It is brand new. Um, this is only my second time using it. And I think I'm going to love it. Now, we will do some regular candy canes as well. So, no worries. I just have to get out of my head what's in there that I can do with these boards just besides the candy cane. So if you, um, I'm trying to think, if y'all have Facebook, you can find me at Monkey's Creations on Facebook and YouTube, and my links are in there that will take you exactly um, to the Unique in the Creek site, or you can just go to Unique in the Creek and you'll find all of their boards on their website. But it is so hard for me to read your comments, y'all. Yes, is, this is 10-inch mesh. I'm really straining to see. 10-inch mesh, all cut at 10 inches. Everything I'm using today. But so far, it looks like it's going to be nice and fluffy, y'all. Good morning, good morning. TikTok, I'm going to figure y'all out, I promise. did miss the dance you did you did so I'm thinking you could definitely get away with using one curl in each Or at least you could start out with one curl in each and add um, another curl if you need to, but then you would know for sure. I am alternating one, two, two, one, one, two, or however I think I just said that wrong. <laughs> so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. thing right there. I don't know why I'm not putting my clips in there. You're welcome. Now here around this bend, bend, curve, I'm going to see how that looks and we may just do one Unless we want like a chunky neck. A chunky wonka. Okay, well that says one anyway. So let's put one. It is really fluffy. Did y'all see my new logo shirts? I'll show you at the end. But stencil it up. Angie with stencilitup.com made my logo shirts. And she did an awesome job. Because y'all know I needed some, some more warm clothes. Do you usually come on at the same time every day? I do. Usually I am on at 10 o'clock on most days. Um, except Mondays. Mondays, if I'm coming on, it's going to either be 9 or 11. 
but all other days you can generally catch me at ten and i am central standard time i think i'm gonna go one Let's go one and one around this neck. So on row nine, I am doing one around that bend. And then we'll do two, well, Let's just do one on there. But y'all, you could also do, look, I'm not even going to tell you my ideas because I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them. <laughs> So we've got one, two, two and a half more rows. And then we're going to start with our pinks and purples. I couldn't decide what color I wanted to use. I had like a, a multicolored mesh that was all pastel. And then I was like, well, maybe I just want to do the pinks and the purples. So that's what I ended up choosing. Hello, hello. Great minds think alike, Eileen. Can y'all see it in your head? Can you picture it? Because <laughs> I'm not sure I can yet. <laughs> no, I can picture it. I got it. I'll show you when we get down here. I'll take those two zip ties out and I'll show you. All right, we got one. So all I did was literally cut that whole roll of white deco mesh. And then I figured out how much I would need. And then when I, I think this one ended up at 35 pieces. Um, so I cut the 35 and then counted the rest, and that would be the pink and purple. That way I didn't have to open up another roll of white because I had initially thought, well, I'd do this whole thing in white and then just add the unicorn mane, but this part took up all that white. Um, so I was like, we'll just continue the mane from here and then have it come in on the rest of this board. So that's my logical thinking. However logical that is. Okay, so we have uh, one more piece here. And why do I have two pieces? Okay, we're gonna put two pieces there. Oh, because I fixed that bend. That's what it was. So let's grab a clip and I'll show you that one one more time. So 10 by 10, curl side up. I use the inside of a mesh roller. Put that right in there and then just curl that mesh around it. Pull that tube out, pinch right there in the middle, scrunch. So same thing wrap it and this just ensures that your curls are basically all the same size hello 
hello. Good morning, good morning. All right. So what I'm going to do is right now I am on row 12. Okay. So on row 12, I'm thinking I'm going to go one, one, and then carry that main the rest of the way down. So one on 12, one on 13 on the inside. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to start... take these out and we're going to flip it so I can work easier and y'all can see the rest of this board. So if you've never loaded these boards, you'll see the two sets of holes. Okay, so all we're going to do is go down, take your zip tie, the flat end of the zip tie goes up to the ceiling and we're going to go down one hole and right up the next. Now for this next petal, we can go ahead and close these. So let me close this one. And this one. Okay, so and then we're going to go see where that zip tie came up. We're going to go back down that same hole and up the next. Just like that. Okay, so down and up, down. And up. Now you see these red lines, our main is gonna go out on these red lines, but I will show you that when we get to it. Close these up. Hey, Angie, I just told everybody about your sweatshirts. So there's Angie from stencilitup.com. She's where I got my logo sweatshirts from, and they are amazing. Okay, so how are we going to do the rest of this? I'm going to show you, but I'm trying to think what's going to be the easiest. Let me think in my head for just a minute. I'm thinking it's going to be easier to go ahead and do this outside. So how am I going to do that? Let me bring up another board. So I am starting on row eight. Okay, I'm going to mark it for you here. So on row eight, from here to the outside of the board, here to the outside, here to the outside, all the way down. Is going to be our main. Okay. You closed back with cardboard from Dollar Tree. I don't know what you're talking about, Suzanne. What you talking about? 
with these board I, I don't cover the back of my wreaths never have never will um, these boards that makes it so much easier you don't have to worry about it the back will be still totally flat um, nothing to scratch your customer's door so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you on this board that's empty so we're gonna take and we're gonna use the outside of the board and that one hole okay outside one hole outside one hole so it's gonna go just like that to the outside of the board okay so let me find it I'm gonna try to work upside down here so that y'all can see okay so I'm using pink and purple this is all still regular deco mash candy cane wired ones years ago and now it'd be easier with the UITC board oh absolutely absolutely um, so we're gonna take our 10 by 10 curl side up diamond shape we're gonna bring top to the middle bottom to the middle We're going to bring top to the middle again, bottom to the middle again. And then we're going to scrunch right in the middle. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to bring both those edges together. Just like that. Okay. Now, I've already folded the others. And I'm going to show you why I like to leave mine clipped for a little bit because it kind of trains your mesh to stay together. Um, so I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If I go ahead and so remember, we're working from the bottom of the board. I'm going to stick this right in to the bottom of the board and zip it. Well, of course, it's going to stick to the mesh and stick closer together, but like this one has already been sitting here a while. Let's do this one. So first hole to the outside. I'm now I'm working from the bottom, so I'm having to turn my pedal, but see how that pedal already wants to stay together because I've had it clipped for a minute. So this one's staying closer together than this one, okay? So I just kind of like to leave them just for a little bit. Now I'm thinking that that is going to be what I can do is we're going to take these, bring it up, and keep them clipped for a little bit. That way they won't fan out so much. Now once I get down here, I'll flip it back over so y'all can see from the top of the board. Okay, we're going to go with the pink. Good morning, good morning. That blue thing is a zip tie gun, so it tightens and cuts your zip ties all at once. You can't rubber band these because you're having to wrap it around. You will see 
the others you can rubber band when we get to this part, but here you can't rubber band because it has to wrap around that zip tie. You can angle them however you want, absolutely. Right now, I'm just trying to get them on the board so I can see what's going on. The pink and purple mesh, probably craft outlet. It's just regular deco mesh. We're going to do this one more and then I'll flip the board. Purple. Now I'm thinking right here around that curve you might need an extra one, but I won't know till we get it all done. So you may have to put two in that one. see all right now I'm gonna turn it over now those are still kind of squished together because I've got them clipped so it won't stay like that I promise all right so now we're working from the top of our board okay so we're gonna go with pink Get up there. Hello, hello. Normally I'd have this side facing me, but I really want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing, so. That's why it looks like I'm having a hard time. Cause I am. <laughs> Cause I'm working backwards. So y'all can see. Yep, it's all cut at 10 inches. I'll try when you know when I'm on the way. All right, last one like this. And then we're going to start from the purple and work up. Thanks for floating my boat.
what you making? We are making, attempting to make a unicorn using the Unique in the Creek cane board. Now y'all will probably be able to do it better because I'm just trying to figure it out. So anytime, you know, somebody makes it and you kind of get their ideas and you see what works and what doesn't work, then it makes it easier for y'all to do your own thing, right? Let's make some room. Okay, so now we're going to work from the bottom up because I want my petals going down. Okay, so we're going to do a pink. And a purple. So this is why I decided to do the sides first. That way this petal can lay over that edge, that zip tight edge. Does that make sense? Gonna do purple. I'm pink. Good morning, good morning. quiet this morning. Why are you so quiet? <laughs> Talk to me. You love my dragon yesterday? I did too. I did too. All right, purple. mesmerized and pink amazed at this unicorn you're at work <gasps> gonna get in trouble no I'm kidding <laughs> Definitely going to be a big one. All right, and then we've got one more right up under here. So because we kind of... Oh, because I came down. I don't know why I have extra petals. Why do I have extra petals? Well, we're just... We're not saying we have extra yet. Because we're not finished. Okay? <laughs> so I'll show you the petal one more time. 10 by 10 curl side up diamond shape we're going to bring top and bottom to the middle top to the middle bottom to the middle again and then scrunch flip it bring them both up together now here's where you could have banded them i was just in in clip mode and so i clipped them but you could definitely band these, not your outside petals, but these going down.
you know what we could do because we have well let me see let me see what these look like let me unclip our sides and let me see if we need any extra up here Let me kind of lay it out. I gotta lay it out and kind of see what it looks like here. So give me just a second. I'm thinking that's definitely too small of an ear. All right, let's put another purple one right here can you see it now <laughs> can you see it There. And then this one will kind of hold that pink kind of in place a little bit more. Okay. And then we have just a few extra. So what I'm thinking is. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Y'all, I can't count. we do yeah let's do that so I'm gonna come right up underneath and we're gonna go from this hole to the outside hole okay so just like that just to use them y'all Oh, I did cut a couple extra because I just, you know, wasn't sure. I think that's what it was. Give her a little extra flare at the bottom. All right, so that's what we have so far, y'all. Done wore me out. All right, so we're going to put a, um, like a thing around the nose. And I was thinking, 
this one it's kind of got the pinks and the purple glitter on it but let me see if I like it now that it's done Oh, what do y'all think? I think I actually like it. So let's cut that piece off. Let's flip it over. shorter because all we're going to have to do is um, glue it to the board so I was smart this time and I turned my glue gun on because I knew I knew I'd need it thanks y'all sure that's where I want it. I'm working around all those curls, y'all. Now, yesterday when I was looking for my unicorn horns, because I I haven't I haven't found them since I moved, um, I was I could not find them anywhere. So I had to come up with a plan real quick, because I knew I was doing this today. So, what I did was, I took a cone, one of those um, styrofoam cones, um, and I literally cut it in half, and then, so that's, and then wrapped it in the um, rhinestone roping, and that's what we're going to use for the horn, but look how, just like the Senna's, how that just glitters, y'all. Look at how that rhinestone just, oh, I make it look easy. Well, I've been doing this a while, but I trust me, stick with me. It'll be easy. I promise. So what I'm thinking is, move some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. So you never know 100% if a plan's going to work, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skewer. I had a skewer out. And I'm going to run it on a kit for this one. Oh, girl. Girl. I'm going to run it right up through. That's styrofoam. I just put the hole there. That way I could add some glue up in there. Okay. And then we can cut this down. Um,
so let me see where I marked ear okay I marked ear here but I'm thinking it needs to be more over here yeah so we are gonna put the ear I'm trying to give y'all rows Remember what I said now? Yeah, right here. Okay, so it is right here's your two center hanging holes. So it's the one right before that. So that would be row five. Row five is where I'm going to put this. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down. Okay, so I'm gonna, I had to figure that out. So we're gonna go right over that zip tie that's already there, y'all. So I'm going to put it right in that zip tie. Zip tie that in. Good morning, good morning. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of glue, okay, just to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Now, what I do for the rest, how many tools does it take? to make a daggone breed, y'all. <laughs> now you can add the others if you wanted. Um, right now, I'm just gonna focus on this one. Um, for my ears, now I think this is a little small now that I have it all together. Um, you can see I'm just kind of moving those curls up into it. Okay, just to give you a better neckline, because we all need better necklines, right? Um, so what I do for my ears and my eyes, y'all, is I go to clip art, um, and then if once I'm in clip art, I will pull up unicorn ear or unicorn lash, um, and then I enlarge it to the size I want or what I think I want at the time. Um, and I cut it out and I trace it on stiff felt. And I cut it out and label it. So that says unicorn ear, unicorn ear. So that would be the inside of it. That way I always have them, y'all. 
Okay, so there's your tip for today. Print these out on clip art, cut them out on the stiff felt and label them and then you'll always have them. Okay, so that's how I did these. But now that it's all together, that ear is a little small, y'all. So I'm not going to glue it in because I need to make a bigger ear. And then the eye. Will be glued on somewhere in that area. Okay, bring everybody up. So there's your uniform. Look how cute that is, y'all. But definitely needs a bigger ear so I'll, I'll make a bigger ear and um, get that glued on but what do y'all think and I like how doing just the one in one here so it brings that mane kind of at a slant as it comes in do y'all like that but I think that I is the perfect size for sure um, and it is it's about a two and a half inch from side to side two and a half inch um, the ear is small it's at a two inch from here to here so I'll probably bring it out to maybe a three inch and then go four inches high that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to redo the ears and then, or ear, um, and get all that glued on. And then I'll take pics and post it so y'all can see what it looks like finished. All right, any questions? Any questions at all? So the only changes I made were instead of doing two around the neck, I did a, one curl around that neck um, because it, it would just make it, we don't want a turkey neck, right? Like, look at this. Look at, you, you don't want that on your unicorn. <laughs> did you make the eye? Yes. Will you do, be doing a kit on a unicorn? Um, I think... Maybe once I can get all the kinks worked out and know exactly what I want, I may do a unicorn kit, um, but we'll have to see. I mean, it's it might be kind of pricey because it's one, two, you need like three rolls of mesh plus the board, you know, so we'll see. How did you say you made the pattern for the ears? Go to clip art. Clip art is your best friend, y'all. Go to clip art. And I just, you just pull up unicorn ear, enlarge it however you want to enlarge it. And what I do is I just take a piece of paper, I trace over it on my screen, cut it out, trace it on my stiff felt, label it, and then I always have it. So that's how I do most, I have a bag um, full of petals, um, Santa belts, um, all those different kinds of things, and it's all traced out on stiff felt. That way, if I ever want to go back and make it again, I always have it. Um, so it's an easy, easy way to keep all your stuff. Um, and then it all just fits in a little baggie with all my other patterns. Can you print? You can print, print from clip art. I just trace it, y'all. I'll just trace it. But yeah, you can you can print from clip art. Any other questions? You meant ear, sorry. That's all I can see. 
you could do more white around the eye. Yeah, you could. For sure. Oh, yeah, look. Stencilitup.com did my logo sweatshirts. Look. Look how cute that is, y'all. So if you need some logo sweatshirts, that's where you can get them. And then she sent me this one as well. Y'all know I'm going to be wearing this one. Have the day you deserve. <laughs> as a sweatshirt. Yes. So go check her out on stencilitup.com for sure. All right. I am going to be nice. And they're nice sweatshirts, y'all. And they're bleached. They're perfect. Perfect. All right, y'all. I'm going to go print a bigger ear, get this fixed up, get pictures taken, um, and I'll post it as soon as I'm done. All right. Um, I will not be live this weekend. Um, I will be working on getting ready for my craft show that's next weekend. Um, so we're going to be busy, busy. Um, so I will probably see y'all Monday. All right. Have an awesome weekend. Bye, y'all.